And uh, let's press on, ladies. No, they didn't want to rough me up. It was uh, the opposite. It was more like um, there were some students that were like... It's nice to meet you, Mankus. They were trying to meet Mankus, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, not in that way. I, I, look, I'm not going to... I don't know how to say it, all right? All right, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, D-Space double away. It only happened at that school. That's what I remember. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. No, no one, no one was, I can handle myself in that kind of situation. Someone wanted Welcome to, like, brand new subscriber. take a shot. No, no, no. All right, anyways, let's press on. This is not war zone. We got to remember that. Maybe it is war zone. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Get him. We tagged him twice with that bad boy, didn't we? We just didn't hit him where it counted. Rapping. He's running. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, that, I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, look, why are you smiling? It was a less than desirable doom raid, ladies and gentlemen. When we have less than desirable doom raids. They always equate in a legendary PMC race. I'm going to tell you I got some concern here. Wanna, here's the concern. My concern is right here. My concern is we've been playing a lot. L let me give you a, let me hit you with a metaphor here. We're getting into a lot of deep lore. We talked about how students were hitting on me when I was 22 years old. A substitute teacher. I said... They respect, respect it, respect the teacher from the growing up as a kid. I'm not saying as a young kid, as a young kid, and it, and look, this is going to sound like I'm gassing myself up, but it's not as a young kid. I'd say like second, third, fourth grade, I could hit dingers like, like we had a local, uh, we had a local park league where, you know, there were teams. Your boy was yeeting them to the pool. I don't know, it just is what it is. Then, family members like, hey, wanna play some golf this summer? Like, sure, we'll go out there, swing, it, swing the old club around. After play golf, go back, I'm like, all right, hey, little league season starting up, time to rip dingers. Bruh. I couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. That swing is different, but I was swinging it like a golf club. But, you know, moral of the story, ladies and gentlemen, we didn't hit any more dingers in fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth grade. We had to hang it up. I'm a, li a little concerned from swinging the golf club to swinging the bat, uh, hitting home runs. I probably should have said that. To playing Warzone to Tarkov. We, had it, we were hitting dingers in Tarkov. Warzone's a little bit different. I'm hoping we can we can find the difference, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. We're about to find out. Um. But yeah. So so that's kind of the moral of the story. We'll see what happens here. But like, I'm not even like I could crush the ball as a kid. And then, like same same league, same pitcher, same speed. Dude, it was real. As a kid, it was extremely frustrating. I couldn't get the mojo back. 
Every time you play Warzone with buddies, it hurts your Tarkov play. I'm with you. Uh, McNuggets, I, I know I would, but that's not, that's, that's not him. You'd have to ask him. Yeah, 3 p.m. Eastern. Never play golf if, you, if you're a dinger hitter. I mean, I will say, like, I'm sure it's possible. I, it just was, was not in my physical makeup. Yeah, so McJones, he says, I've been sipping Tim Hortons all week. As we load into a raid here. Um, yeah, I, I mean, today's the fourth wall break and show arc. We've had this, like, I mean, it, it had to be, like, extremely, like, entry-level coffee maker. I loved it. It was, like, literally the thinnest plastic, one switch. That's it. You put the coffee and there's no buttons. There's no clock. It's nothing. Had it for about eight years. It broke about 10 days ago. So I've had to buy coffee, which I actually prefer not to do. Um, but, you know. Have you ever seen Tiger Woods hit a dinger? I bet not. You know, I. but he's, he's jacked. I bet he could. Yeah, and, and then I was like, okay, when we, when the coffee maker broke, you know, my wife's like, hey, let's get a new coffee maker. I'm like, okay, I only have one request. Can it be M Mr. Coffee brand? And she's like, why? I'm like, I don't know, because it's in Spaceballs. That's the only answer I had. Like, that's the only reason why I wanted Mr. Coffee. That's it. I don't, like, I, I don't care. Otherwise, I don't care what brand it is. I mean, you can imagine the confusion. There was the, there was a high amount of confusion. It's not sponsored. It, look, and I'm not saying I spent. I went to the wrong map. Bruh. Um, I'm not saying. I spent 35 plus minutes looking for the perfect Mr. Coffee. Cause look, I like the, I like just the no frills. Like, don't give me hey. Put the coffee in the morning, pour a little milk, hit all the buttons. Nothing wrong with that. No judgment zone. I just like, hey, like you walk into the studio, that's all it is, is integrated buttons. When I got coffee, I just want to throw it in there. All right, this is going to be a little bit make us of a run here. Um, I, we our, our goal here was to do, a, we appear to be jammed. Our goal here was to, uh, to do a nice little money run and then finish up... Uh, the challenge you got to mark the gas cans but you know what we'll do it after this run yeah and we used to have like a keurig it just all depends man I, i've just today's fourth wall break and where yet wednesday for me it's just been simplified my life it's there's a reason why you always see me wearing a, a red shirt or a black shirt you know i just there's a reason we drive the 2009 Ford Escape in real life. I mean, part of it, you know, yeah, it's simple, but also economically, it makes more sense. I don't know. I just, I try to keep my life as simple as possible because life is complex enough as it is. I don't, you know, the, the less stuff, but I will say this, that was something that helped me a little bit. I should probably finish it. Um, there's this documentary or uh, a show on Netflix. I think we've talked about it before. It's called like Marie Kondo. And essentially like she goes through people's stuff and organizes it. But one real, one super helpful thing that's kind of stuck with me through, you know, I watched like one episode, but it, you know, I got the, the TLDW out of it. This one sparks joy. Is the, uh, so I've got two things out of it. One is that you know that T-shirt you've had in your closet for like 15 years and you haven't worn. You gotta ask yourself, all right, hey, if you haven't worn it in 15 years, are you ever gonna wear it again? If you know you're not going to, you thank it for the memories and then you send it. You know, and you donate it or whatever. On the flip side, the other thing I took away is that.
The other thing I took away. He wrapped all the way around, huh? I thought I heard him in front of us. Did it? Oh, there were two of them? You think there were two? That startled me. I'm not even gonna lie. There's uh, look. I don't. I don't ask much from Nikita. I, I ask nothing. I do think it would be helpful to um to have like a report button. I just you know that's the only thing, and it, and it doesn't happen often. But like, we just get Melvin spam in chat. Like, it's... anyways, um. The, uh, so the other thing I took from the Marie Kondo thing, and I only say this, anytime I say something like this, it's just because I, I found value in it, so I think you may enjoy it, is, um, or it may help you, is, uh, hang on one sec, um, let's, buy a couple more we'll go we'll go mp5 gun game how's that mp5 gun game and then we'll finish the let's get let's get geared up here oh we're g held up that makes it easier so now we don't have to just one less step um so let's we'll finish the marie Kondo bit here in a second so tyler the editor editor has a mini podcast to produce um did we not buy i thought we bought um Uh, I know we can buy BTs for this, right? Not BTs, green boys. And by green boys, I mean these ones. By 120 stack of high society. I wonder how this gun would do in... And where we initially wanted to go. Uh, we got this. We're just missing a helmet. I think we're good to go. Uh, backpack, and then... I, I'm there's some concern Chad I, like I'm not even gassing you up I'm concerned about playing too much Warzone. really is that a real thing all right good 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 G held good 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 thank you guys for being patient all right let me pull up where you at Wednesday and then all right um Grizzlies dropped in price. All right, so, all right, so the other thing that I learned that I think you guys may find value of is that when you go to buy something, right? And I don't buy a ton of stuff, but if there's an option to like, all right, so say for example, right now, I'm looking to get a new pair of, of tennis shoes because the pair, I don't want to take, you know what? Some people like the, the minutia details. So I bought a pair of new shoes ultra boost on like really good sale Let's go. but through the power of, of logistic logistic deduction i realized that those shoes were causing static electricity and sparks in the studio so i'm like okay get rid of them sold them on ebay uh, i think we probably broke even so i didn't wear them that much anyways the, the point of the story is so now it's like, all right, hey, you got to buy a new pair of shoes. The, the Marie Kondo method is like, all right, hey, look, you can buy a pair of shoes on fire sale for like, you know, 27, 28 bucks, right? And you're like, yeah, like, yeah I kind of like them. Like, it, it's it's a good variance of like price and like, or you could buy the pair of shoes for like 53 bucks that you really, really like. And then you may go another year or two without buying another pair of shoes. So when you're like, the Marie Kondo method is just just buy what you like you'll take care of it more you'll like it more and then you don't have junk you don't like you know as opposed to buying like the lesser shoes that are like ah, I don't really care about them I don't really like them after a week you know 
I just, I had never been exposed to that line of thinking. I'm like, oh, I'll, let me just find the best deal I can. You know? Yeah, but like, I, I don't, I typically, I won't buy something unless I need it. But then I'm like, all right, let me find a deal. And then I'll find this like pipe and hot 596 deal. But I'm like, the shoes are like, Bruh. they're okay. You know? But what if you just get the ones you want at a pretty good deal as opposed to a pipe and hot deal? Not only that, but you look at the, but it, to me, it's not even like, I don't care too much about stuff, right? Like, I don't care if something's a knockoff, but if you can like, if it's in the window and it's something you really, really like, it's worth getting, you know, is it the same with electronics? I mean, you're talking about the, the guy who hasn't upgraded his, his hard drive in forever. I don't know. I'm from Michigan, but that's just me. I just, uh, I don't know. That's my take on it. And there's, you know, but at the same time, my take on it is if like you have a hobby or something you really like, then, you know, end of the day, do what you want. Be who you are. You got your EQ2, EQT boost for around 50. Always wait a year on shoes and you could buy good sales. Yeah, I really wanted to get another pair of ultra boost, but to be honest, it's not worth risking frying another mixer. <laughs> but I've heard good things about those. And like, that was an example of like, I almost bought the EQTs, but I'm like, nah, I don't, these aren't the shoes I wanted. So let me try and wait and get a pipe and hot deal on Ultra Boost. Oh, uh, NMDs, not EQTs, NMDs. I almost got a pair of NMDs. I'll tell you though, my shoes of choice in terms of like ball play, longevity. I mean, I'd say it's style. It's it's like. They're not as stylish as Ultra Boost, but the shoes I run in are Nike Pegasus. Just, especially if you run. What is this? Is this new? Is this new tech? That is new tech. What is Tarkov crap? I would get a pair of NMDs if I knew they wouldn't shock. Shock cause static electricity. No, yeah, Pegasus, like, I've only run in... And I bought them on, like, the first pair of Pegasus I bought were just completely, like, just a fluke. So they're really good to run in. Yo, what's up, McFluffy? Any 596 challenges today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to get some money though. We're gonna do one non-challenge run and then 596. Uh, the show of the documentary is, is called like, uh, Marie Kondo on Netflix, K-O-N-D-O. You Google that, I don't know the exact name. I'm the same way, Kung Fu Joe. Like, so, like, the Ultra Boost I bought the first time I paid retail, and then the second ones I got for, like, by 60% off. Um, but those... But those caused static electricity in the office, so I had to get rid of them. But Ultra Boost, are, to me, are the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn. Um... But I would never work out in them. So I don't know. Dude, I was, dude I'm like trained in Warzone. I, I was expecting to see like a, a blue gun come flying out of this thing. You know what? I've never worn a pair of Yeezys, so I couldn't tell you. We got to slow down here.
Don't you have a relatively new key for this place? We do. That is new tech. What? We don't have the key. Isn't there another key we need to do use to get in there? We've never been in Kiba. What's the... We have both. Okay, chat. Yo, who said that? Cedar hammer. Can we get some dank front dank seat? How do we get there from here? Do we have both? Yeah, we have Kiba 1 and Kiba 2. Power has to be on. Bruh. All right, let's go turn that power on. Is that Kiba right there? That's Emmercon. Kiba's across from Brutal Shop. The loot is not great and it's a lot of risk. I'm okay with that. Because we've never done it. We'll add that to the next 596 challenge. Yeah, I got to take it easy on Warzone. I'm like, I'm like dopamined out. I recorded a bunch for Golden Goblet before the show today. Gotta be careful. Ooh. Uh, slide this. Got a new pair of New Balance 990 V2. The Kawhi's. We can wait till someone flips the switch, but there's no guarantee someone else will. We are going back to Bullet Town today. Check your extracts at the bottom. It means power is on. Adidas Continental 80s. What are those? I know in the bottom of Ultra Boost, they have like Continental Tire stuff, right? Where do we get that T-Fact from? Chat, where did, where did the, did Nikita drop that? Oh, that was in our, never mind. That was in our, our ghillie suit thing. I will say though, to, to wrap the shoe conversation, not to flex, the shoes I have on now, the Pegasus, like which are not like a, they're not a super expensive shoe, but they're not inexpensive. I think I got them sub 40. Sub 40 is good wood for Pegasus. I mean, it's like, that's like, that would be like buying a, um, a red key card for 596 ruples. Do Americans wear shoes on the inside? Yeah, you guys don't. I guess I. Like ever? I guess I in my house I don't. Wait, why in chat if you wear shoes inside your house or your abode where you live? And in chat if you don't. Sixty is a pipe and hot deal on Pegasus. What's the vote on this one? Eighty-five percent of people do not wear shoes in their house. That's really high. I'd say like main floor sometimes. Other like where the bedrooms are, no. What about you guys? Sleep with your shoes on. Bruh.
slippers. Let's go get a gold chain, huh? We get him? We get him? Oh, that's that! Who do we think we are? Yo, that was only three bullets! What's in there? I think he took his wallet. Alright, hang in here. Where are those gold chains on the other side? Where are those gold chain lockers? Up here? Why not put it all in the rig and then the rig in the bag? Um, Oni King, that would cl classify as front seating, aka great intel. Why didn't I? It would would have been smart to do that. Where are those lockers at? I've opened up the Ali registers and been surprised at the lack of ball play in them. Gold chain, gold chain, gold chain. Gold Welcome chain, gold subscriber. chain, gold chain. Gold chain, gold chain. Chains of gold. Yo, Flinks Master, brand new subscriber. Thank you for using your Amazon Prime Reno. 100% invented. The Atari Lynx gaming console. Was it, a, was Lynx Atari? How do I remember that? What was the Jaguar? Was Jaguar Atari 2? Maybe you can grab a can of gas while you're here. You know what? It's a great idea. Gas are in the shelves, right? Welcome, brand new subscriber. Yo, T. Lanier, Trip 7. Thank you so much for supporting the show with your Amazon Prime Arena 100%. Distant relative of Piston Legend, Bob Lanier. All right, I, th I think we're back in the Tarkov sauce now. This is like concentrated, like very hard dopamine like sporadic war zone is just you're doing backstrokes in like a lighter thinner dopamine dan why are the pistons salty about the bulls it was a respect thing you know it was respect i know some people like that the pistons didn't shake the bulls hands i didn't like that and like as a kid, I didn't like Jordan because he, you know, he always beat us. But what I really respected about Jordan in the last documentary is like you knew how how bad he wanted to win. Like he wanted, he would, he would do anything to win. And then when he got yeeted, just absolute grace and class. You know, to go shake like your sworn enemy. Not you know, it's not a sworn enemy, but. In that arena, sworn enemy's hands. Dude, that's... To me, that's incredible. I just... Because you didn't get... I mean, you didn't always see that. I would say you didn't always see it, but... I don't know. It's just It was just really cool to see that. So it's funny because I didn't like Michael Jordan as a kid because he always destroyed the Pistons from what I can remember. But really like him after that. 
I can remember a little bit about the bad boy pistons, but I was pretty young. I have like one memory, man. Today is memory Wednesday, huh? I was a really young kid. How I must have been like five or six. And uh, my grandfather, like the Pistons just won their second title. And he's like, hey, they're having a sale on Pistons stuff. Do you want to go? I'm like, sure. I don't, you know, let's go. And we went to some place where they're selling like Pistons back-to-back -back apparel because they'd won back-to-back -back NBA championships. He's like, hey. He's like, hey, just pick out one thing you want. I'm like, okay, I want this pin. He's like, okay, you want the pennant? I'm like, yeah, let's get... I guess like a pin, you could get like a circle pin with like a player's face on it. Like, yeah, I want the pin. He's like, oh, the pennant? I'm like, yeah, I guess they call it a pin's pennant. What a and uh, you walk out and it's like this big like triangle thing. I'm like, in my head, and I was shy. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, oh, that's not what I wanted. I didn't say anything. But I got a pennant instead of a pin. I still have that pennant. I don't know if that makes sense. I, I never knew what a pennant was. And then to make things more confusing, later on in life, the people who watch baseball are talking about winning the pennant. I'm like, a pennant is a triangle you hang on the wall. Uh, does that make sense? I, I, I'm like confused. Dan, you're confused about the usage of the English language? <laughs> How about this gun, though? Base model MP5? No recoil at all. There is not a drop of recoil. Holy cow. Not a drop. I mean, like not even a solitary drop. MP5 is, is, it was actually, you're right, was my favorite gun that I fired in real life. Mosin, not so much. Um, I guess it was, it's like that in real life too. I went, <laughs> It's not Monk. I went to a firing range in um, in Las Vegas. Specifically because of Tarkov, to be honest with you. Like, what, what do I care about firing off a of Mosin? Well, now I care about it because, you know, it's just like a fun thing to do. I, I, I don't own any guns or anything like that, but I fired a Mosin, a Scarby, a Glock, and an MP5. I told the story a hundred times, but <laughs> but I was, I was so you're in like a a booth, right? Like a shooting range, and they gave me the scar, being like, just be careful, it'll like there's a lot of recoil on it. I'm like, yeah, 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 I got it, I got it. <laughs> um, pick up the scar, okay, almost hit the ceiling. It just it ripped right out. I'm like, it's nice to meet you, Mankus. <laughs> I mean, it's not. It's funny because no one got hurt, but like. I was very, after that, I was extremely monka ass the, the rest of the time. Like, you can't really mess around in there. It's not like, not that I was messing around. I certainly was not messing around, but, like, yeah, yeah, I, look, recoil, like, I, I handle recoil every day of the week in Tarkov. He's like, nah, it's not like that, big guy. I didn't say that. But the MP5, it was just, I mean, it was like this. It was like, it was like shooting butter out of a gun. I had training in the simulator. Uh, I think I, I did it, uh, full auto, but I can't remember if I did bursty or not too. I know for sure. I, I just held the trigger down. No savvy, what's going on? Welcome, brand new subscriber. Yo, Devte. 
Thank you for converting your Twitch Prime Arena to a full-time arena. I appreciate it. And I will say, I've, I've told this before, but the Mosin, that is not new tech. A Mosin is the inverse of new tech. It's like, no disrespect, it's like caveman tech. It was like launching a boulder from a piece of wood. It's like my patellar tendon rotator cuff was like purple and yellow for about a week. Is there a discernible difference from from prime to tier one? No, it, it's uh, on all intents and purposes. It is the same for you and the same for me. However, what I look at it as my opinion and i guess it's how i treat twitch prime is like if there's someone i'm kind of new to watching um then i'll hit him with the twitch prime for the first time and then if i'm gonna stick around for a while then i'll convert it um but that's but but to me i don't look at it like a conversion is different i think because then it's like okay that person's gonna use the twitch prime for other people um, but they'll probably hang around now. I guess the, I guess there is a difference. The difference is, uh, non Twitch prime is odd auto, is automatically recurring where Twitch prime, you got to hit the button, but that's how I handle it. Like when I'm all in on someone, then I'll do it. But that's just me. You know, I'm, I'm appreciative whether you're lurking, whether you, you watch for 10 minutes, whether you Twitch prime, it, it does. I'm just happy you guys are here. Sorry to Welcome talk money. I, I'm okay talking about that. It's uh no, it's the exact same. Which is you gotta think as a creator is amazing. Um so there's no there's literally no discernible difference. Terrific Tom. Thanks for continuing the gift sub from Mo Parman33. I appreciate that. I you wish Prime was auto? I mean from a business standpoint, I get why it's not, because say that you're say that you never watch twitch and but you just came on once to use the prime like i get it i can no one hit the switch ah uh. um should we go back in and try kiba why in chat to go try kiba and in chat for no Someone tried and got fried. Bruh. Uh, time and raid. We got time. Alright, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Why would someone close that door? I will say, I do like well, Warzone. Brand new subscriber. <laughs> What do we have here, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, you really shouldn't have. And for no someone that doesn't have any idea what's going on right now, someone hid their stuff, good stuff, in the toilet room thinking no one would find it. I mean, I give I give credit on that, but we'll take it. Um, now this chain. What was the vote on going into Kiba or not? Why? Oh, sixty-eight. Why? Okay. Um. Okay, my question to you is: if we enter. Why? Okay, great question. Why would they hide it? Here's why. What in the heck is insurance in Escape from Tarkov and how does it work? Despite its seeming complexity, it's actually very simple. It boils down to this. 
pay a fee for each insured item with one of the traders, and if those items are left in a raid, meaning they're not taken out by yourself or another player, you'll get them back within a day or so. But once they're returned to you, you only have a limited time to collect them, so make sure to grab them before Prapper keeps them for himself. Hopefully that explains insurance. If not, feel free to ask any further questions. I'll do whatever I can to answer. Yeah, integrated graphics. I appreciate you asking. So that guy was trying to hide his stuff so he could get it returned to him later on. We've had that PSA for a very long time. very long time we've got we probably got some other ones you've only seen once or twice yeah insurance fraud yeah. i mean but it's not really fraud if you paid for it i don't i guess it is kind of um all right so if we're gonna go kiba where so if we are, we're at power station. Power station is in the upper right, right corner of the map. Yo, Jaludi, what's going on? You want to binge all the PSAs? So where is Kiba? Um, we're getting, if we're going to Kiba, I need some heavy, heavy dang front dang seat. Stop the stutter run pops. Bruh. So if we go in from this, this angle, just go to the center of the map. Okay. Already looted, but the power wasn't on. Oh, you're saying we turned the power on. Someone looted it. Best way is to go through the hole in the what garage. Brand new I got you. Yo, Ambassador, thanks for gifting a tier one sub. The Oni King, I appreciate that. Um, also, in case you didn't know, the Ambassador, you play a pivotal role in the cartoon um, Madeline. Um, as this... Uh, the ambassador plays a big role in, in Madeline. All right. Let's press on. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to go try to find the hole in the parking lot garage. Be buying meds in case it gets spicy. I got you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate the front seat. Because would have we would have gotten in trouble. And I would have been spamming seven and eight, and I would have been like, what's going on? And then I bet, oh, I didn't rebind the meds. Bruh. There we go. All right, so let's go find this hole. He has four legs and dunk good dunk. Oh, have you seen talk? Oh, here we go. Where's the hole? I'm waiting for someone to, to do the club remix of that song. It's too good of a song not to. If I was a young music producer, DJ, wanted to make beats, I would 100% Do it. Just pump that out. Then you go to the Madeline fan, you. Can we fan forums. Bang pack, spam go the to chat. the Madeline fan forums. You go drop that link out there. You'd be like, yo, check out my SoundCloud. The ambassador. Speaking of. Ladies and gentlemen. We get some dang pack spam in the chat for the ambassador. We're going to open up a pack in your, your honor. On Friday. I got to check the shipping on that. Um I'm hmm. Let them sleep. This is the ambassador's son. They call him a bad hat. I trap them inside my big nets, then they become my brand new pets. Okay, that was fair use. 
All right. Thank you. Can we please get some dang pack spam in the chat? <laughs> yeah, pass. I appreciate the five gifted subs. Can we get some dang pack spam in chat? I will say I'm, uh, I'm breaking the fourth wall doing too much sharing today. But I will say this. So I have a three-year-old son and a two-year-old son. And my two-year-old son, like, I think, I don't know. I don't want to say in comparison, but he can speak pretty well. Um, you know, but he talks like a two-year-old, but one of the words he can pronounce, like, really funny, he's obsessed with the ambassador. He just likes the ambassador character in Madeline. I don't know, it just makes you smile. Anyways, let's press on. <laughs> the ambassador. All right, let's press. Can you put the scopey on the AK? No, not without a thing. All right, go right up here. All right, let's press on. Uh, I appreciate the support, Ambassador. Truly do. You're gonna mag drop on reload. YMW, yeet mag warning. YMW, yeet mag warning. Where's the hole? Up here? I see him. The ambassador. I would love to be able to say that one day. Whatever you said, I would love to be able to say that. What does he say? A whole statement. Can anyone type that in? <laughs> anyone that knows Russian, can you type that in first grade vernacular? Yo, questions had. Have a good one. Appreciate you being here. I like the beginning part better than the shalaba. And you're bleeding. It was not big brother friendly. Rule of thumb, don't repeat what Scab say. Alright. Uh, we gotta go find the hole. Is the hole to our right? Right now, if we're facing 12 o'clock, is the hole to 3 o'clock? Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Oh, we did a mag, huh? We're back, baby. I think we can take this ammo and put it in our our deal, right? So one time, when I was uh, I was working as a coach at Michigan State football, like you just did whatever the coaches said, right? And, you know, it was like a, it was like a, um, like a gopher level job, but I loved it. So coaches cut would come in and say, Hey, can you like, uh, hold on, where did that mag go? Coaches would come in and say, Hey, can you, you know, print out this report, staple it together, put it on my desk, you know, da da da. Um, And there's this, this, there's another guy like me. We worked together. And one time, uh, this coach I really like came in and he's like, hey, Dan. And he was like walking by. So it was like just real quick, like giving instructions. He's like, hey, Dan, can you put that deal on my deal? And I looked to my buddy, I'm like, and his name is bruh. What? Put that deal on my deal. Like, and it's kind of like, you know, he was in, he was in a rush. So you didn't want to stop and ask him, but I'm like, so to this day, that was like, man, 
17 years ago. I texted my buddy. I haven't talked to him in a couple years. I, I texted him nothing but put that deal on my deal. I didn't loot the other guy. All right, let's go. Yo, hip hop. Yeah, yeah, I'm from Mich Michigan. Where are you from? The ambassador found about a week and a half ago. I haven't stopped watching since. Yo, I appreciate it, ambassador. Appreciate you being a part of Madeline the cartoon. Ambassador, let me ask you this. How did you find the, the show? Memory Wednesday. I, I guess so. I appreciate the thousand bits. Can we get some heavy, heavy dang coin spam in chat? Truly appreciate the support. And, um, means a lot. Put that deal on my deal. Did I figure out what he wanted? I think later I asked him, I go, Coach, what did you mean by that deal? And I think he told me. But it was just. That was good eats. You popped up on the Twitch page. You're scrolling through Tarkov stream. Yo, I appreciate that. I'm sure you know, you know, what we lack in Tarkov skill, we try to make up for it having a lot of fun. All right, chat, where is this hole? I don't, I've never told anyone that story. I think we can one tap this guy. Put that deal on my deal. Let's go burn mode. I will say though, I work like during that, during that job, I work like 15 to 17 hours a day for like two years. And I learned so much during that time. All right, let's, let's dial here. We're running out of time here. I learned, I learned that what I thought I wanted to do required working 16, 17 hours a day. What I thought I wanted to do after doing it for two years, I learned that I did not want to do that. But even from that, I learned, you know, I never worked like that my entire life. Um, it taught me a lot. But one of the most important things is that I didn't want to go down that career path. Which not to get super, not sentimental, but super preachy, but that's kind of one of my, my tenets of life. Is just if you think you want to do something, just do it, and you'll find out really quick if you want it's something you want to do or not, as opposed to planning and or making something perfect. We did a full loop. <laughs> Can we go to the safe room? Should we go to the safe room? Is it open for us? Your sense of direction is not great. I, look, your analysis of people's sense of direction is 100% on point. <laughs> um, oh, we need a key. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, power station, Emercom is to the right. Let's go. I really, I, was a little, I really wanted to go to Kiba too. We'll learn one day. Definitely not offline mode. I was, there was some concern though. I was worried about the war zone hangover. We're okay. When did I start streaming? My first stream was December, 2012. If you would like to ha ha spam in chat, if you need a good ha ha, then I would encourage you to watch it. 
It's not ha ha cat. It's the other kind of ha ha. It's wolves cringe kind of ha ha. You know, we'll pull it. We'll pull. We'll watch ten seconds of it after this raid. I did do a podcast with DJ Witten. It hit me, JP. I played. Um. Imagine me playing. I think I played. Uh, what, not what battle zone. What's what was the battlefront? Battlefield 2, Battlefield 4. I played, one time I played Battlefield. This was really early with It Me JP on stream. And imagine how I play FPSs and how dialed It Me JP is. You may wonder, and how come you've, you've never played with It Me JP since then? I mean, <laughs> you need to ask. <laughs> you've seen how we play games. <laughs> Oh, he's a really nice guy, though. It was nice of him to invite me. <laughs> Did I hear the good NCAA news? I'm not one to share bad news, but I heard news that wasn't good that said there's not going to be an NCAA football this year or football game, video game. Yeah, no, I like JP. Welcome, brand new subscriber. Chicken sandwich, thank you for converting your, your Twitch Prime Marino to a tier one. I appreciate that. EA said it's unworkable with the NCAA. Everything is workable. Everything's workable. But I find Tarkov fun without chat. No. I mean, it would be, it would be fun. It would just, I'd be way more sweaty. It really would. Uh, I can't Welcome say that. I can't say it. Cause I, I'll do, so, I'll do solo videos. So no, it, it's just different. It's different. I really enjoy this though. I, I shouldn't say it's not fun. It is fun. It's just different. Ladies and gentlemen, reach into your back pocket. And spam the hard W. We celebrate the rare air victories around here because they don't come early and they don't come often. Five kills. MP5 is our new best friend, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Nikita. Wait, do you not get a new icon every level? Whoever reached into the front pocket, no, that's reserved for your keys, telephone, and wallet. Sad ADAR noises. Ladies and gentlemen, where are you at Wednesday? Yo, we got a PB. Kansas with the PB. Can we get some Porsche trophy spam in chat if you have no idea what I'm talking about right now? Exclamation point where in chat? Kansas has had a personal best with most people dialed in from the state in the history of the show. Kansas with the rare PB, ladies and gentlemen. The darker, by the way, the darker the country or state gets, the more people are dialed in. Congratulations to Kansas. I'm not trying to be minkus with a mod, but with, or with an individual, but normally someone's there, but someone's not there. They're in a different spot today. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say any more than that, but I noticed that. Yo, thank you guys so much for supporting the show, I, especially on the front end. Fury, I appreciate the 21 months of support and everything you do for the show. Thank you so much. Eric Schmerich, thanks for the four months. Lebo, Lebo's brand new subscriber, 100% invented Robin Hood. Uh, brand new subscriber, Nuevo Huevo. Thanks for the seven months of support. Uh, Rooftop Bronson, brand new subscriber, 100% invented the Naked Gun movies. And That Ramen Bowl, 100% invented eggs and soup. Thank you so much for the support. Um, You may ask, oh, we got good armor. We got good armor and good eats. 
You may ask yourself, Daniel. We're going to come back to this song. I promise you that. You may ask yourself, Daniel, how do you keep such a pipe and hot, clean stash? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk you through it. Step one, ladies and gentlemen. Everything you just looted, dump it. No questions asked. Dump it. Dump it all. I'm moving these. I always do this. Uh, step one, dump everything. No questions asked. Just get it out of the system. Step two, offer pipe and hot deals. Bolts. Bolts are back, baby. Bolts are going for twenty thousand nine hundred nineteen five ninety six. Pipe and hot deal. Subscriber. Anything else worth some? Chocolate going for thirty four thousand nine 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 nine. Thirty three five ninety six all day, ladies and gentlemen. You offer up pipe and hot deals. Anything else worth pipe and hotness? Pressure gauge sixty eight thousand nine nine nine. Sixty seven five ninety six. I think everything else we're gonna dump here. Maybe the elites are worth something. Elites got some decent eats. One, two, five, ninety-six, ladies and gentlemen. I think we dump everything else. We'll eat this. Sippy a little of this. Good. And step two, dump everything else. Go to mechanic, sell them all your gun bits. Sell them all. Step two. Go to Therapy. Sell her all the other gun bits. Go to Ragman. Sell them the marketable securities. It looks like we got some some nuts to sell. Step, what happened to the price of nuts? They went up. 16596 Um... Uh, we can keep that. That was that was a good run. We needed that run. Um, that was good eats, ladies and gentlemen. In between legendary, escape from Tarkov. Highly tactical runs. We emulate one of the greatest 1990 FPS games of all time. But I did tell you we had watched our first stream of all time. I'm glad I saved it. December. Brace yourself. Get your ha ha's ready in chat, please. This is my first stream. Let's let's just analyze it real quick. 360. I do. I think we're good. All right. You, you can tell the hitting stuff and collecting things. I'm beating this thing up with a flower. Professional setup. We're, we're streaming from a laptop. Just look at the Twitch logo. Look at this. What is? Th look at this. We got a nice. We're streaming from a laptop with with one megabyte. I do. I think we're good. You, you can sense right. the excitement in our voice. And collecting things. I'm beating this thing up with a flower, and it's working. Yeah, really exciting. Thanks for watching. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna shut up the stream because I'm watching the stream on the stream. <laughs> All right. On the stream. All right. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. Where are you? Oh, I hear music now. You. Oh, like uh, the. How do we end the stream? Yo, you can see some people's names. Type the chat because they can't hear your broadcast. Do we even say goodbye? No goodbye. We'll find out after this. Was that recorded from a potato? a great question. Um... <laughs> D-Space double OM, please, in chat. Alright, how did it end, chat? Uh, that was not the best way to do a Doom run, but... Wait, real quick. Chat. Chat, 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 chat.
Why in chat if you think we say goodbye and in chat if you think we just end the stream? You hear, you hear that keyboard? It's not a keyboard. It's a laptop. Look at look at the the tentilating entertainment value, ladies and gentlemen. Just shut the stream down, but I'll stay here and talk for a little bit. Shut the stream down. So I can turn the stream off and. If I turn the stream off, I can still stay in the chat room. Is that how this works? Right. Is anyone still listening? Okay, cool. I'm going to do that then. You guys got to look at the two of the stream. Still asking for the first grade. We didn't know it was the first grade back then. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Um... So, you know, the point of showing that is not to not to bully Daniel, but... You know, th things come a long way, you know? What, t what time do I normally shut, shut the stream down? Back then or now? Back then, I didn't even know how to shut the stream down. Um, how old was I? 12. But no, it's good. Like, that's what I mean. Like, you try something and then, like, you know? You hopefully get better a day at a time over an eight year period of time. Um, let's, uh, let's mod this gun here a little bit. Yeah, no, I, I, I and I say cringe, but I mean that like jokingly, I'm glad that's archived so I can show you and be like, Hey, look, like <laughs> a lot, a lot has gone into this thing. Um, but no, I think it's good. I think it's probably helpful to people. And, you know, if you think about stream or even if you just want to laugh, you know, it's, it's, um, I'm glad that's there, you know? All right. Let's, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to completely change this thing. Yeah, no, that, I think that's cool too. Like every, you all, everyone starts somewhere, right? It's not always like. And we, in my opinion, still got a long way to go. You know, I, by, by no no means. You know, do I have all the answers or anything? Got a long way to go. That's what we wanted. Stubby. Um. I like Chunk. I, I know people like Zenith, but let's get something a little different for this one, huh? What do you think? What do you think's good? 40? Ash Ketchum? I'm not really... I guess we could go one. Um, in a way, you kind of envy a video recording of so much of your life. I think it's like both good and, and you know, it's not... There's, there's two ways about it, right? Um... Like, I'm with you. I think it's good and, you know, there's elements that aren't good. But the, the elements that aren't good are extremely small. If any. I would maybe say there are none. I mean, I'm sure there are, there are some that are not good. But I don't know. I can't even say there's any bad ones. Oh, yeah. 50 round mag. I'm with you. That's good eats. Where's the fit? There it is. I don't know. I'd have to think really hard for there to not be a... I guess privacy? Privacy? That's cheap. Do we have a name for this beauty yet? Not yet. Not yet. Um, I think you gotta at least earn... You gotta survive two raids to, to earn a name. All right, so that was a good raid. Good raid for us. Let's go ahead and quickly buy some new Amos. Is there any... Buy it all. 
We should put a silencer on it. Do we not have anything on there? Oh, thread protect. How do you put a suppy on it? Call it the Madeline. Call it, call it the ambassador. Oh, wait, wait. Are we going to get double? Can we get that thing off of there? Are we going to get double sighted on this? You know what I'm saying? Should be good. Okay. It does look, it, it doesn't look great. I will, I will give you that. Um, donkey, 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 donkey. All right, so we're good here. We got, we got G Hills. Kind of. What happened to our PKs? Look, PKs, G Hills, backup G Hills. Good. All right, let's um, hang in one sec here. Okay, donkey, donkey, donkey. Sorry, guys. Hold on. We're trying to find... So we're trying to gold out every trader. Who is not golden? Mechanic, Jaeger, Ragman. Ah. Okay. Okay, okay. Appreciate you guys being patient as we load in here. Yeah, I'll tell you what, it's good to be back in Tarky, you know? It's, I think we got a good little rhythm, because I was thinking, man, like, with the two... A Tuesday, Thursday. Um, it's like you take a little break away, you come back extra sauced. Okay, okay, okay. Uh. Hold on one sec. I just got to double check something real quick so we know where we're going. Ooh. All right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's load in here. I maybe this could be a mistake with this loadout, but you know what? Scared money doesn't make money. Let's 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 get that toast, ladies and gentlemen.